Aubrey Butte, I mean, it's not a, it's not a gated community. It's not a destination resort. This is a part of the city of Bend. And this housing crisis is a community problem. What this project would do would make this neighborhood very unlivable. Advocates and opponents react tonight after a controversial development in Bend was struck down by a hearings officer. Isabella Warren reports the developer of Compass Corner does have time to file an appeal. This proposal sign is blank following a 106 page decision striking down this proposed apartment multi use building on Aubrey Butte. The multi use development on Compass Corner would have 40 units and has been in the works since 2021. The hearings officer did find that the applicant did not meet the criteria of approval in a couple of instances where the clear and objective standard could not be applied to this development and a discretionary path needed to be followed. Colin Stevens works for the city of Bend and has consulted with the developers. Hearings officer Gregory Frank said in his report the developers did not request an exception to certain requirements and that many aspects of the building went against both state and city building codes. That doesn't mean that it's not a they could come back in the future with the discretionary path. Um, this is more a procedural issue than a substantive issue. Now, Compass Corner has had opponents for years, citing winter hazards and heavy traffic as some of their concerns. The Save Aubrey Butte organization has even formed their own LLC. The corner here is one of the most dangerous in the, in the city in the winter. Cars slide into that road constantly. This structure is going to shade that corner and even make it more dangerous. Corey Gillette opposes the development and is part of the Save the Butte Coalition. Opponents point out the apartments would not be affordable housing, but John Halen of Ben Yimby and other advocates say meeting demand for housing in Ben could contribute to stabilizing prices. Aubrey Butte, I mean, it's not a, it's not a gated community. It's not a destination resort. This is a part of the city of Bend. And this housing crisis is a community problem. During the News Channel 21 interview with Halen, an Aubrey Butte resident opposed to the development stopped and appeared to try to intimidate Halen. Hey. Hi. Hi. I'm just listening to what you're saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Despite talking to News Channel 21 for 15 minutes after the interview, he declined to be on camera. The last thing I want to do is piss off everyone on Aubrey Butte. I mean, that's, I'd rather not be here. But unfortunately, the housing crisis is just so bad that somebody has to stand up and we have to build more units. We need more housing, but we also need livability. And what this project would do would make this neighborhood very unlivable. The document also contained 45 requirements if the development is to be approved. Developers have less than two weeks to file an appeal, and that appeal could go before city council if they choose. What if they choose not to take up the subject? Well, it would go to the Land Use Board of Appeals and mm -hmm. then the state and just a lot of different options. So we're not going to hear the end of this for a while. <laughs> no, we will All not. Right. Thank you, Isabella. <laughs>